Hi, Kerry Russell here from the blog mechanic.com. In this short video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to safely add code snippets to the function's PHP file without breaking your WordPress blog. So for the purposes of this tutorial, I will be using a code snippet that when added to the function's PHP file in any Genesis theme will display the site description underneath the site title. So what I mean by that, if I go over to my staging website, this website is currently using a Genesis theme. And as you can see in the top left hand corner, only the, the site title, so the name of the website, is actually displaying. Underneath, on some themes, you also have a site description. So the code I'm going to use for the purposes of this tutorial is going to allow me to add the site description underneath the site title. However, you can use this method to add any kind of code snippet to the function's PHP file within WordPress. So to get started, we need to log into WordPress and we need to install the plugin Code Snippets. So I'll go back to my staging area and I'm just going to very quickly go to the dashboard. Once I'm on the dashboard, I need to go to Plugins and Add New. And then in the search field, just in the top right corner, just search for code snippets and that should come up as the very top result. So there we can see the code snippets plugin. So I'm going to click install now. Shouldn't take too long. We'll just wait for that to do its thing. Okay, once it's installed, we need to click activate. Now the plugin has activated and we should see a new tab in the left navigation menu called Snippets. So navigate to the Snippets tab, go across and select Add New. Now once that page has loaded, give your snippet a name, mainly to help you identify what the code is for. Um, I'm just going to put Test for the purposes of this tutorial. And now I need to go and grab the code that I need to add to the function's PHP file. And I do have that open on a blog post I'm currently creating at the moment. So I'm going to quickly copy and paste the code that I need. So I'll go back to my staging area. And I'm going to paste that into the code box, like so. Then I'm going to scroll down and there's a descriptions box directly underneath the code box. And I'm just going to enter add description under site title. Again, that's just for my own purposes so I can easily identify exactly what the code is for. Now we're going to keep run snippet everywhere selected. 90% of the time, that, will, that option will be suitable for what you need. Now, I'm not going to add any tags. I'm simply going to save changes and activate. So I click save changes. And then once that's loaded, I'm going to go back to the front end of the staging area. And we can now see that the description has been added to the end of my website title. However, we can see that it needs formatting and it needs some tweaking, but that is out of scope of this particular video tutorial. I do hope this tutorial has helped. If you found it useful, please do subscribe to my YouTube channel and be sure to go to my blog for more quick tips and tutorials related to WordPress and the technical side of building a blog-based online business. And that's 
www.theblogmechanic.com. That's it from me. Bye for now.